All right, guys, a lot of you have been asking me to review this for quite some time. This is the Multipick Jackknife Pick. Very cool, cool package. This is made by Multipick in Germany. I bought this one from Pick Pals because I took advantage of their recent offer of free shipping from Australia. Got here in four days. I still can't, I'm amazed at how quickly it gets here. But anyway, uh, this is what you get in the package. You get, obviously, the jackknife pick itself, and then you get a couple other things. Let's look at those first. First of all, you get a tool to do an adjustment, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then they throw in this pretty cool steel cable that locks in place. So you can put it through the hole on your jackknife and keep it on your key ring. Very cool idea. Uh, the pick itself, let me move that packaging out of there. Surprisingly light. A good size, fits right in your hand. Um, it's made out of aluminum, very smooth. This one is anodized red. They also come in black and silver. The multi-pick logo and this uh, artistic looking wave thing, all etched. I don't think you're gonna wear off either the anodizing or the, uh, or the etching. Uh, as I said, made out of aluminum, has a, a steel pin there, that's the hinge pin, and then there's an aluminum knurled knob on the bottom here, I'll show you what that's for in just a minute. I think you got it figured out though. And on the end, there's an Allen screw. And the reason that Allen screw is there is because it's adjustable to tension your tension wrench to hold it in place. So I've got this one adjusted so that no matter how much you shake this thing, it, it is not, I mean, you can beat it on the table. That thing's not going to fall out. It's not going to come out in your pocket and you're not going to lose it on the job. Yet, when you pull it up and give it a little pull, it slides right out of there, kind of angled to fit down inside of that hole. If it's too loose or too tight, you just use the included Allen wrench to loosen or tighten that screw to, to fit just how, however you like it. The tension wrench itself tapered as it should be because it's got a, you've only got one. It makes sense that it should be able to fit a variety of different locks. So this one looks like it will. Uh, the picks themselves, even when you remove the tension wrench, which you would think would be blocking them, they still don't, they don't fall out. And that's because that neural knob holds them in place. So you need to loosen that up, then they'll slide out, and then you can tighten it down to lock them in place. But before you do that, let's pick out one that we're going to use. Uh, these are the picks you get. They measure, they're stainless steel. They measure 19.5 thousandths of an inch thick which is 0.48 millimeters. So these are just made in Germany as they very proudly etch into the case there. Um, they're designed for paracentric and European locks. So it makes sense that they would fit. You get a half diamond. You get what I'm gonna call a medium hook right there. You get an S rake or snake rake, L rake, city rake. You, for those pesky wafer locks you find in desk drawers and filing cabinets, you got a a half ball right there to rake those and then you get a very sharp extractor pretty nice they could use if you look closely at them they could use just a little bit of sanding but they're really usable this is not intended to be an everyday use type tool to replace everything on your workbench this is for those one-off kind of things just a nice to have in your pocket uh, in order to get it to work you pick out uh, you choose which pick you want and then you tighten up the knurled knob and that will lock those in place and it will also lock him in place. Now here's a tip, when you tighten this knurled knob, give it an extra twist because if you don't tighten it all the way, if you just very loosely tighten it up, there'll be a little bit of play inside of that pick. So go ahead and tighten it up. It doesn't take a lot, but if you don't, that thing will be flopping around. You give it a little extra, now the transfer of feel, the vibrations are gonna be transferred from the shaft of the pick back to your hand while you're holding it. So that, that really is the way to go. If it's loose, even if it's just a little bit like that, I found that when it plays up and down, I find that to be pretty irritating when I'm trying to pick that lock. So just a tip. By the way, when you break these tips or bend them or want to replace them, uh, you just remove that screw and then you can pull them all out. You'll notice they're all shaped standard. You can buy these replacement tips to replace these exact ones. You can also buy blanks and you'll notice these are pretty standard, the shape of these. So even if you have like a Bogota or something you want to put in there, you can cut it down to the correct length, drill a hole in it, and you can put pretty much anything you want to in this. Anyway, let me go ahead and uh, find a lock. I got a German pick. I'm going to have to dig around, find a German lock, and let's see if we can't get him picked using this tool.
All right, guys, we're digging around the lock lab and came up with this, a German ABUS 8440. These are five pin locks. Here's what the key looks like. So we got a little up and down there. Uh, there should be four spools and one standard. So this ought to give us a good idea of what the feedback on this is like. I have chosen to use the uh, half diamond because it's a pretty small keyway. And I've really made sure that knurled nut is tight so that there's no play in this whatsoever. My finger is going to be right there anyway, but I'd like to have as much feedback as I can, when, particularly when dealing with security pins like you find in this guy. I'm going to use the tension wrench that came with the jackknife. Just place them right there. And I just want to make sure that there's not binding, that there's little play in there. And there is. Slide this dude all the way in. Apply moderate tension. Let's see what we got here. That was three. It was a binder. Get in there. It is a tiny little keyway, I'll give you that. Okay, I got a fault set. That was pin one. He's a spool. Okay, that was pin five. I'm on pin two. He's also a spool. Come on. There we go. Got him that time. Okay, that was five again. He'd pop back up. And there we go. What I would tell you, the feedback is okay from this. It's not intended as a replacement for your regular picks. It is slightly subdued simply because of the way the mechanism is put together. It does work. Um, it is compact, high quality tool. If you're looking for a high quality uh, jackknife pick, you owe it to yourself to take a look at this multi-pick. All right, guys, I have something else. A lot of you guys are from Australia. You've been asking me about the tool website, why they don't talk about Australia and the lock pick laws there. So this is available on the PicPal website. I'll put the link down in the uh, description. Anyway, go to the PicPal website, and this is a free book that they just published. I printed this myself, but look at it electronically, otherwise you're going to lose all, use an awful lot of black ink because there's a lot of pictures in this thing. They've done a lot of research, and it broke down everything by the different territories. So every territory is covered individually because apparently they all got different laws. I had no idea, having never been to Australia. So if you have any questions about the legality of owning or carrying lockpicks, you owe it to yourself to download this book. Take a look. I wish something like this existed for each state in North America, but it doesn't. Anyway, this is what you got free download from Pick Pals. All right, guys, one last thing. I have a bunch of new equipment from um, Sparrows. They just put it out. I was one of the first in line I pre-ordered, actually. Let me drag it out here. We'll go over it, and I'll have some giveaways. All right, guys, I forgot to mention, you want to win this brand-new multi-pick jackknife? Go to the website right there, and in the middle of the page is a huge purple button that says Giveaway. Click that, and it's free to register. Maybe next Saturday you'll be the lucky... Uh, name drawn for this brand new multi-pick. All right, let's talk about some of Sparrow's new gear. I got actually have three giveaways here of identical sets of gear. So let's take a look at it one by one. The one I'm most excited about is this one. You guys have seen their tension tool set. That's like $12 for a set of, I think it's four different wrenches, five different wrenches, but they didn't have a 50,000th in thickness, which is really popular and very useful with things like Schlage and Quickset and some of the North American locks. Now they got them. They got the one that is curved on both ends and also serrated on both ends, 50 thousandths of an inch thick. And then they have one they call the dog ear. On one end, it's basically just a lever. And then on the other end, you have a small uh, end with serrations. You get both of these, it's $5.95 Canadian, so incredibly cheap. And then when you with the exchange rate that's going on right now, that's $4.35 for both of these. Just incredible price. Grab it up while you can. They've also come out with another tensioner. This is a circular tensioner. Really good for new pickers trying to figure out what's light tension, what's medium, what's heavy, and what's crazy heavy. The way these work, you have two prongs that fit into the keyway. They are adjustable. This is spring-loaded. 
So you can adjust it, slide it in the keyway. And then outside, this is actually spring-loaded. So as you turn it, you have little graduations there that will indicate different levels of tension. And I don't know if this is true, but, you know, light, medium, heavy, and then crazy heavy. It works both clockwise and counterclockwise, spring-loaded, and, of course, returns to zero. i got to say, I've looked at them. They come in two different colors. They have brass and then this anodized black one. Pretty high quality. I've played with them for a while. I have absolutely no issue with these at all. These usually sell for incredible prices, and that's why I rarely pull mine out because I'm afraid of damaging it. This one... <laughs> $17.50 Canadian, which works out to $12.82 U.S. Amazing, amazing that they are able to sell them for that. Anyway, two different colors. Uh, there you go. They've also come out with some shims. Now, you actually get two of the solid ones, which is on the right, and then two of these with this, this split tongue. You guys have seen how these work before. you got a set of handcuffs, and here we go. These are Smith & Wessons, issue set of handcuffs. You need to shim them. You take it, you slide it right down there between those teeth on the, on the locking mechanism, and then the locking pawl is inside. It slides between them. So then once it's between them, the handcuff just opens right up. Very easy. The thing is, there are other sets of handcuffs that don't have, that have a groove right down the center of the teeth. It's just machined out right in the middle, and the reason it's machined out is because there's a tooth on the inside of there that prevents the insertion of these shims that we've all become accustomed to using. That's why Barrows includes this new one. You get two of these as well. It's the split end, and it's designed to fit around that piece that hangs down the middle that blocks us from sliding in a shim. It'll slide in just far enough to allow us to shim those split gears. So another new tool to put into your bag. These sell for, see if I can get this right, $6.95 Canadian and that's $5.09 US. You get two split ones and two solid ones in the kit. The last item is kind of cool. You guys have seen a Slim Jim before. Uh, this is uh, like their medium Slim Jim, except it's got this cool uh, hook here. So you can actually wear this. It clips on the inside of your pants, and that slides inside. So it's concealed behind your belt. So kind of a cool idea. Um, it has rounded, so you can use it as a, to push to defeat a locking hasp, or it has the normal hook, so you can slide it behind it and pull it to defeat the door. So pretty cool tool, easy to conceal. It's made out of spring steel, seems really tough. Got the Got the uh, Sparrows logo right there on the top. Anyway, very nice, and it sells for, I think it was $14. I didn't write that down, but I think it's $14 Canadian, which is around $10 U.S. So there's all the new stuff from Sparrows. This is going to be one giveaway, and that won't fill up a box, so I'm throwing in this. This is their reload kit. You guys have seen this before. The reload kit has a whole bunch of stuff in there. Got keys and extra pins, security pins, a couple of pinning mats, a follower. And I'm just going to throw this in to fill up the box. And the lucky winner on this one, by the way, is Bill Taylor. Bill, this is all your stuff. I got two, two others. Um, same kind of deal. These are still in the box. Reload kit, Alex Richards. You get another set. And then the last set. Again, identical is going to go to Chuck Carter. So I'll send you guys an email to confirm this, get your mailing address, and get it all in the mail to you. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe, and as always, stay legal.